This might be more of a controversial opinion, but I really don't care. I just have to say it. The Red Cross came out with possibly <laughs> the dumbest statement I have ever read, and believe it or not, it is about video games. Now, I know what you're thinking, okay, Psybeam, why would Red Cross have anything to do with video games? Aren't they supposed to be, you know, I don't know, helping save lives, aiding in natural disasters, you know, that sort of thing? Well, guess what? You're just as confused as I was when I read this today. The International Committee of the Red Cross released a page on their website recently called Play by the Rules. How you play FPS makes a difference on Battlefield's IRL. That's very interesting. <laughs> So let's read what they have to say. Okay, this is straight from their website. Every day, people play games set in conflict zones right from their couch. But right now, armed conflicts are more prevalent than ever. And to the people suffering from their effects, this conflict is not a game. It destroys lives and leaves communities devastated. Okay, so just my input so far. Yep, yep, that fair point. You know, fair point so far. But then this is where it gets weird. So they go on to say, therefore... We're challenging you to play FPS by the real rules of war to show everyone that even wars have rules, rules which protect humanity on battlefields IRL. So yeah, the Red Cross is wanting you to play video games by these four rules that I'll read off. Why? I have no idea. Uh, apparently it's supposed to make a difference on battlefields in real life, but nowhere on this page does it say how doing this in a game is actually going to have any sort of impact on real life. Regardless, let's get into these four rules that we're supposed to abide by when we play multiplayer games right now. You know, to save the world. Okay, rule number one, no thirsting. Okay, when an enemy is down and can't respond, you can't keep shooting at them. Oh boy, already this is just going to make games so much less fun. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's totally going to abide by these rules. Yeah, okay. Rule number two, no targeting nonviolent NPCs. <laughs> Bots that don't fire unprovoked are considered civilians and you can't target or harm them. Oh, at last the hookers in San Andreas are finally saved. Thank God, they're, they're not going to die. Rule number three, in any given game map, houses, schools, or hospitals are considered safe zones that you cannot harm. When fighting in these spaces, you must do everything you can to avoid damage. Houses, schools, or hospitals. Okay, so houses, are, are, that's going to make up every single building in Fortnite and Warzone. <laughs> so, okay, we can't fight in houses. Okay, and I can't target any. Okay, all right. So if an enemy's down, I can't kill him. If there's an NPC, I can't shoot at him. And if I'm in a house or a hospital or a school, I can't shoot at anybody. Okay, all right. What's rule number four? The last rule. If you have an unused med kit that works on others... You must give it to those who need it, be they friendly or enemy. Wow, well, the Red Cross has just single-handedly brought every M-rated mature game down to a E for everyone rating, okay? Because everybody's just going to win by helping each other out. There's going to be no more blood, okay? No more violence in video games, okay? It's all just going to be hugs and handshakes from now on. So, to everyone playing games this weekend, everyone who's playing Warzone, Apex, Fortnite, okay? If you see a downed enemy and you do not just let them revive, congrats, you just committed a war crime. And in fact, if you don't throw a med kit, you are committing a war crime. To everyone who's playing GTA 5 this weekend, and if you beat up an old lady, you know, how does it feel to support the war, okay? Does that feel good? I mean, really, I, I know I'm being sarcastic, but this is just the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> I, I really tried as hard as I could, you know, to, to look at this objectively. I mean, of course, I don't actually support violence in real life. I want to do anything I can to make it so that that doesn't happen. But is this really going to help? I mean, really, this just seems like a total waste of time. I, I think the only person that this is actually appealing to is to people who don't actually play video games. You know, like, I think my grandma would see this and be like, you know, there you go, Red Cross, you're making a difference. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about this. It was just a really goofy story. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go throw some med kits at a 10-year-old in Call of Duty. Yeah, no need to thank me. I'm just doing what needs to be done to save the world.